Hey everyone, this is going to be my jewelry set build showcase. I'm going to show you how this build is performing, show you how to craft jewelry sets, show you what every building is making, and near the end I'm going to show you what this looks like on the visualizer. So this build is doing about 15 jewelry sets per hour, which is pretty good. It's probably good enough to get top 1200, but it could be optimized even further, pushing it to 18 or 20 jewelry sets per hour if you were to optimize this better. I'm going to scroll through the projection monitor just so you can see the projection rates of everything, but I do believe that the reason it's stuck at 15 per hour is because it's only doing 15 golden heart necklaces per hour, but there is a lot of things going into this build so it is hard to perfectly balance and that's why i just left it at 15 per hour i didn't bother moving around the golden heart necklaces but i'm sure somebody could push this even higher nevertheless it's a good start it's a very good build so this build has been running for 16 hours now and it has been at a stable rate of 15 jewelry sets per hour and i've had no issues with anything jamming it up or anything getting stuck while running it in order to craft jewelry sets you need a boxing facility and this is the first item that actually requires four different items going into it. So the jewelry set requires a wooden box, one bracelet, two chandelier earrings, and one golden heart necklace. The wooden box can be crafted on the lumber mill, requiring one lumber, two wood, and two energy. So you will need another lumber mill in order to craft the lumber. The other jewelry crafting tables will craft the other items. So you will need one crafting lobster class, which requires one sterling silver jump ring, one copper jump ring, and one silver wire. At least one making chandelier earrings, which requires four copper jump rings, two silver jump rings, and two silver wires. At least one making golden heart necklaces, which requires require five silver jump rings, one lobster class, and one gold bladed heart pendant, and at least one crafting bracelets, which requires six copper jump rings, three silver jump rings, and one lobster class. There are a total of 22 tree farms, 27 copper panning sites, 21 silver panning sites, and one gold panning site. All of them are on a green timer with the exception of this silver panning site, which is on a yellow timer because it's being affected by one shade. There is one clay field, one strawberry field. There are a total of 24 forges. 15 of these are crafting copper, and I'm going to go through these. There is only one forge crafting gold, and the other eight forges are crafting silver. There are eight foundries, four of which are crafting copper jump rings, one is crafting sterling silver, one is crafting the sterling silver jump rings, and two of them are crafting the gold plated heart pendants. There are 10 wire mills, six of which are crafting silver wires, and four of which are crafting copper wire. There are two pottery shops making the heart shaped prints. Both are on a green craft timer and are collecting energy manually from a warehouse which is being crafted by a nearby power plant. There are 14 jewelry crafting tables, one is making lobster clasp, three are making chandelier earrings, two are making golden heart necklaces, two are making bracelets, four are making silver jump rings, and two are making copper jump rings. One boxing facility making the jewelry set. For the workers, there are eight panner bunkhouses all on the top right corner. There are four regular panner houses. These only cast one shade, which is why I am using them at the front. There are 11 logger houses. There is one tractor and there is one forklift. There's also two builders right here since I can't place anything else in that spot. As for the storage, there are two or storages. There are a total of five warehouses. There is one silo, which will only store strawberries. There is one lumber yard, which will usually be full of lumber. And there is one fuel storage for gasoline and petroleum. There are two sand mines. Both are on a green craft timer because they are on a desert tile. So no matter where you put the sand mine in this desert biome, it's just going to be a green craft timer. And there are two lumber mills. One is making lumber. The other one is making wooden box. Here's a standard gasoline setup with two water pumps, two power plants, the refinery in between making gasoline and the refinery to the side making petroleum. We have an oil seep, so we have passive crude oil for the refinery making petroleum as well as for the power plants. And we do have one of the power plants making energy, which I mentioned before for the pottery shops. Oh, and there is one trade depot. For auto sell, you probably want everything at a sellout amount of 10 with the exception of ore and wood. Ore should be at an auto sellout amount of at least 15. I have copper ore and silver ore at 15, gold ore at 25. And wood, you should have in an auto sellout amount 
of up to 20. This is just in case your lumber yard gets full of wood and there is no space for the lumber to be deposited in since you do need lumber in order to craft wooden boxes. So this prevents that from getting jammed in the event of that you are making too much wood. Now everything else should be at an auto sell at amount of 10 but you do not need to auto sell gasoline, strawberries, or lumber. And remember it is two gasoline per sale but if you are using the oil seep efficiently you should have no issues with having enough gasoline to sell everything. Here is what the build looks like on the visualizer. It'll cost about 24 million cash to build and the wages will be 41,900 per minute but you should have no issue with the wages as soon as you are selling jewelry sets. There's only one stage in this file and you can find the file on my discord server. Link is in the description of the video. No NFTs are required in order to get to this production rate. The jewelry set can be challenging because there's a lot of things going into it. But whenever you compare it to uh, the item stack box, that thing has so many more items going into it. That one is way more challenging than the jewelry sets. Nevertheless, this one is still a good challenge to do. I got this to 15 per hour. If I were to spend another couple days on it, I could probably push even higher. But I think, like I said, this is already going to be good enough for top 1200 in the upcoming comp and you could spend more time to optimize it even further. As for the upcoming competition for new resets, which will happen on September 5th, 2023, I don't actually have a guide on what you could do for cash at the very beginning. However, do keep in mind that copper will be cash boosted. That's going to sell at 4,000 cash for each copper. But when you look at gold, gold actually still sells for higher at 4,880 cash per gold. So you may want to still consider doing gold instead of copper the only difference might be if you have certain nfts that will help you do copper easier than doing gold that's just something that you're gonna want to keep in mind depending on any nfts that you may have but if i were to have to choose i would still do a gold rush instead of doing a copper rush since the trades will require two gasoline per sale you pretty much have half the amount of gas that you normally would at the very beginning but because we have the oil seep it's much easier to get to gas production since you won't have to worry about the oil pumps and it would just be so much easier to make energy once you actually build a power plant so it'll be a little more challenging at the start but once you get to gasoline production with one power plant it's gonna be easy you're not gonna have any issues past that point with gasoline you can definitely do copper rush or gold rush to get all the cash you need to get to gasoline production at the very beginning you may not want to sell a batch of gasoline that would be risky you can make it work but it can be risky i would just say maybe sell a few batches of copper ore or gold ore depending on what you decide to do until you can afford to build the warehouse and the forge in order to craft copper or gold since that will sell for way more money but that's all the advice i have for that and that's the end of this build showcase so hopefully you found all this helpful if you did leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing if you haven't done so i have links in the description of the video if you wish to support me and as always i appreciate your support and thank you for watching